So initially I was told that we're going to give some divrei chizik to the community and then some divrei hadroche bedarke at Talmud to the koilo. And it's the first time I see the koilo is bigger than a community. <laughs> so it's... Uh, so Baruch Hashem, it's very inspiring to see that the Olam stayed on and this just shows that this is a real community of Bnei Torah and Mevakshay Torah. So it's a big schus for me uh, to be here together with you. And I was asked to deal with uh, some specific questions that I got uh, on a printout. But first, some general uh, Thoughts and Yesoides Bedarkei HaTalmud, Bedarkei HaHeroe. And when we speak about Darkei HaHeroe, and we use the Loshan Rabim, obviously there are various different ways. So when did Darkei HaTalmud diverge? When, when did they start to separate? Obviously, it goes all the way back to Torah Shebaal Peh. And many times in my shiunim when I say a big chiddush and I say uh, what I say might not fit in with Toysis or the Ramban and I say I never said a chiddush that is mukubal on all the opinions of the shoinim and achroinim and if you want to learn Torah only that everybody agrees on you need to be a karoi or a tzedoiki. And you need to stay with Torah Shebech Zav. Because Torah Shebech Zav, there are no Mechloikas. But in the first mission in Shas, we already have a Mechloikas. And in the last mission in Shas, and in most of the Mishnah is between them. So I never said a Chiddush that is agreeable to all the Rishonim and all the Achonim, and that is the nature of Talmud Torah. So are there different Darkei Talmud? I once heard an interesting comment from Agon Rabyankov Kamenetsky, and I had a very close relationship with Rabyankov, who was one of the giants of our generation. And he commented and he said, Gedoila Ameroim, in Shas we find Porech Revachoi, Tohi Boreb Yochanan. There's a difference between a Percha and a Tehiyo. Tehiyo is something very idle, very sensitive, it's an observation. And a perche is a perche, it's an attack. And these lishonis are common, not, not once in Shas. So obviously, G'day Lam different approaches and different feelings in Talmud Torah. And it's a very, very interesting comment. And uh, this goes way back and it's clear in the Rishonim. Rabbeinu HaMarshal. The Marshal was a very strong Chosid of Gedoyle Ashkenaz, and I'm trying to use the most delicate language I could. And the Marshal was a big Chosid of Gedoyle Ashkenaz, and he writes that they were far greater than Gedoyle Svarad. And when he describes Balei Atoisvis, he uses very interesting language and interesting moshal. And he writes, Balei Atoisvis also was called a Talmud Kikadur. So there are some young boys here. You know, the Chadorim and Etzisol, they don't let kids play ball. But then I think in America, kids play ball. And the Marshal writes that the Bali Atoises played ball with the Gemara. Also, was called a Talmud Kekadur Vigilgeluha Memokoim Lemokoim. Which means such a fascinating observation. The basic assumption of Bali Atoisis is that the Shas, the Talmud, needs to be consistent. It's not, it's not, it's not self-evident. It's not self-evident. That was one of the Chedushim of Bali Atoisis, that the Shas must be consistent. And if you have a stira from one Stoma de Gomorrah to another Stoma de Gomorrah, it demands a Teretz. But it's not, not a Milsa de Pshita. One might think that the Shas is a compilation. Different opinions, different attitudes, different svaras. Maram al-chodav maram al and we don't need to break our heads to be miyashev stiris. So a chokham once said that, and once said that, and, and the same chokham. A year ago he said this, and now he says that. 
And the Bali Atoises also was called a Talmud Kekadur of a Gilgaloa Mamokim and Okum. And that is how we're Mechadish Chidush Atayra. When you have a stira, the man's a teretz. Every teretz is a chiddush. If it's a mitzvah of teretz, a new halacha. And the Ramban followed in the Mesoiris of Baalei HaTaisvis. The little title we have from the Ga'inim, we see no pilpul. We have no pilpul from Tkufis HaGa'inim. We have Piski Halacha. And sometimes the Piski Halacha of the Ga'inim are against the Gemara. They were closer to the time of the Gemara. It is only in the Toysvis and Gedele Svarad that came after the Toysvis that Amman, his Talmud, the Rashbo, Talmud, Talmud, the Ritva. But still there's a difference between Gedele Ashkenaz and Gedele Svarad. Gedele Svarad had total as battles to the Goinim, including the Ramban. The Messiah of the Goinim was Sankra saying, that was, that was Heilig. Gedele Ashkenaz not. Baal Toysvis bring the Goinim. And they reject the Ga'inim, and to the Bali Atoises, everything was legitimate. Tiyufta Vepiruka, Kashas and Teritzim, and that is what the Marshal found so appealing in the Torah of Gedoyle Ashkenaz, Bali Atoises representing the Gedoyle Ashkenaz, Talmud of Rashi. So, Pilpura Shal Torah, we find naturally in the Gemara. And then we skipped Kufas Aga'inim and Balea Toises took it to the extreme. And that is Toises in the entire Shas. Every Suga. Kashas, Perches, Tirutzim, Vo'oid Yesh Lo'imara. And that is the godless of Balea Toises. So there's a difference in Darki Apsika between the Svardim and the Ashkenazim. To the Ashkenazim, everything was arguable, everything was, was disputable, and Loiken Gedoyle Svarad. They were Makabal the Messiahs of the Goinim, Ke Misha Ein Laharar Acharehem. And so Doyer Achar Doyer, Dark Elimu developed a difference between Svaradim and Ashkenazim. And generally speaking, the Ashkenazim, through hundreds of years, were the Bali Pilpul. And at some stage, Pilpul got out of hand. And the Maral, and the Shlo, and the Marsha, and many other Gedoilim say, We have gone astray. Too much pilpul, and it, 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 it comes to the absurd, and Gedele Ashkenaz pulled, pulled back the wagon, and once again, and this new Dayach came to a climax with the Vilna Gon. The goddess of the Gro is, what we find in Bira Gro is, everything comes back to its source, to the Gemurah. Every Aloha based on the Gemurah, the Rishonim, the different interpretation of the Gemara, and that is after two or three hundred years of Pilpul Ashkenazi that went astray, that went out of hand. And the Gon, Talmidov, and Talmidov, Talmidov, the Gon, in Haloche, it's the Mishkan Asyankev, the Chuta Meshulish, Rab Chaim of Elohim, and many others, the Bitzach and later generations, and in Pirusha Talmud, it's the Keranoire, the Nachlas Dovid, and they followed the derech of their great Rebbe of the Goin. So the biggest Chiddush in the Goin, which people don't appreciate enough, is the Goin takes us back to the derech limit of Bali Atoisvis, which is everything starts with the Gemoras, with the Sugya Sashas, and the different Prushim in the Rishonim in the Gemora. So that is just a general overview about Darke HaTalmud, because a moment after I stepped in, before I stepped in, uh, Rav Webster Doroskoyl told me that Avrechem would like to hear, when, when did this start, this, this Indian of Darke HaTalmud? And as I explained, it goes all the way back to the generations of Moisre HaToyro, of Rav Seinu HaRishoinim, and through the ages, the Mesodas of Ashkenaz and the Mesodas of Svard, which were very different, we do see a difference between Gedoyle uh, Svard, which are far more based on just quoting the Gedoyle Hadoyres, Doyle Achadoyr and Gedoyle Ashkenaz, who are far more into purple and analysis and argumentation and Kushev Piruka, as it was since the days of the early Rishonim. So one of the taroimis that the Gedoy Lerashoyim had against the Rambam, and it's quoted in Shuvah Sarosh, that the Rambam gave us the Rambam, 
But what are your sources? We would like to know how you base your psukim. Do you think it is illegitimate to argue against you? And the Rambam gave us the Mishnah Torah, and he didn't share with us how did I reach these conclusions. Hundreds of years later, the Bish Yosef, on one hand, followed the Rambam, and he gave us the Shulchan Aruch. Loke Rambam, he gave us the Bish Yosef as well. And he shared with us, this is how I reach these conclusions. And is please, please argue with me. Please question me. And he shared with us the pilpul, how did I reach these conclusions that I have in Shulchan Aruch, which the Rambam didn't do. And the Tshuva Sarash writes that some of the Rishonim wondered on the Rambam, why do you expect us to respect your conclusions without sharing with us what is the background? How did you reach these psukim and these conclusions? So this has been an ongoing mahalach, ongoing quest throughout the ages of Moisrei HaToyro in Darke HaTalmud. Lo harreize ke And I think we have Avrechim here from the Choshe Mishpat Koyler as well. So it is a very well-known Mamar Chazal, Ein Ledayen Elo Masha Ein of Royos. And sometimes this Mamar is misinterpreted, not entirely misinterpreted, but usually what people mean to say is a Dayan must judge according to the evidence. Edim, and not be Mishair Hashores, and Oimed Umdenes, Ein Loy Elo Masha Ein of Royos. But that is not what Chazal mean in Sanhedrin Davov. When the Gemara says, Ein loy ledayin, elo masha ein avroyes. What Rashi explains Divre HaGamora? The Gemara on one hand scares us terribly. Le'oylam yire dayin asatz mo'gilu gehenem p'sucho lo'y metachtov. Kilo cherev misapeches ma'al lo'y shoy. What an awesome and frightening endeavor this is. And you should know what you're getting into. And then Rashi says, a Dayan would say, Mali velatzora hazois. I might as well be a Rosh Koilal, <laughs> or a Magachir, or a Shamish and a Shul. Rabbi Kiva Ege has a letter. I don't know whether you're familiar with Igrois Rabbi Kiva Ege. Not the Chuvas. Chuvas Rabbi Kiva Ege, Enke Moisam. He was the giant. But there's a Sefer I love, which is Igrois Rabbi Kiva Ege. And what is unique, in Igris of Bekiveg, you see the human side, the human side of, of a giant, of a good be a soil. Such beautiful letters. And in one of the letters, he writes to a Talmud, and he pleads with him, could you please find me a job? I would prefer being either a Malamedarka or, Malamedarka or a Shamish in a shul, writes the Bekiveg. I hate Rabonis. I'm sick and tired of Rabbonus. I want to get out of it. And he writes such a heartfelt letter. He says, please, could you find me another job? And he writes what he would like to do. I would like to be a shamish of a shul, he writes. And I just try to imagine if the shamish in my shul would be Rabbi Kiva Ega. How would I feel as the Rav if that is my shamish? And Rabbi Kiva Ege, please, and he begs, please find me a job, or a Malam Adardike, he says he would like to be, or a Shamish and a Shul. So, so a person would say, why go into Paskaning Shalis and, and having Din Torahs when it's so frightening? So Chazal say, Talmud Shehegiya Lohiroa, and you do your best, then you're noki mekol chashash cheit va'ovoim. All a Kodesh Baruch Hu expects is be honest, be integral, chaz v'sholem, not to be mates adin, and if you do your best, you have nothing to be afraid of. Because on one hand, we want the Yonam to take their job seriously, but on the hand, we need the Yonam, and we need Mohira Yiroa. And if the Yerei Shemayim will stay away, then who, who is going to bear the responsibility for Klal Yisrael? So there's a bevista word. When Rabbi Gamliel said, "Kol she'ein toyech yikemaroi lo yekonus abeis amenish," because Shaviru to Manasius, Rabbi Loza ben Azaria opened the doors and he said, "Everybody could come in." And wasn't Rabbi Gamliel right when he said, "Kol she'ein toyech yikemaroi lo yekonus 
the Kotzke Rebbe said, so who are the ones that said, I am Toichei Kebarei? The Toichei Kebareis all stayed outside, said the Kotzke Rebbe. And the ones that came in were not the Toichei Kebareis. They were the ones that ain't Toichei Kebarei. So Rabbi Lozav and Azari understood that's not the Mahalach, that's not the Derech. So Chazal say, Ein Ladayin el Amasha Ein Avroyas. Shkiyas Miyoven. We all make mistakes. Doctors make mistakes. Rabboni make mistakes. Rashi once in Shas, and I won't tell you where, once in Shas Rashi writes, I was Mata and Isra Koras. This is what I paskin for years and I regret it and I, and I saw that I made a mistake. Shkiyas Miyoven. Ein ledain and amash ein evroyes is a mama that comes to comfort us and be machazek us. Don't shy away. This is avoidus akoidish. Do your best. Learn a lot of Torah. And a Moshe Feinstein in Dagdometu, the first volume of Igris Moshe talks about this, because the Moshe really was the giant of our time, and he was an original and. It's hard to define that Moshe is a makel or a machmi, or depends on which areas, but he has gewaldige kulis and gewaldige svors, which are his own, without any source. And Moshe stresses this. A Talmud Chochem that learned a lot of Torah, ve'egi alero, husmach al yedei raboisov. All HaKadosh Baruch expects, do your best. Take your job seriously. And if you pass in, from your point of view, that is a mitosh shel Torah. And even if you might make a mistake, and you bear no responsibility. And that is important for Avreichim that, that will be Moira Hoiro to understand. Chabat Selas Ashoroin was one of the Gedolim in Galicia, Menches uh, family, was the Rav in Tarnapol. For more than a hundred years, Mishpachat Babad with the Rabbonim in Tarnapol, starting off with Sefer Yehoshua. There's a very hush of a Sefer, uh, probably most of Rechem don't even know, but uh, uh, the Rabbonim probably are familiar with Sefer Yehoshua, and I don't mean Yehoshua Benun. <laughs> There's another Sefer Yehoshua, which is really a strange name, but Rabbi Shua Heshel Babad was the Rav in Tarnapol. And a very close of a Sevi was a Chavar of the Nesivis and Rabbi Kiva Eger and corresponds with them. So the Chavar Zahir Shoshoran, Evan Ezra Simen Chof Ches writes, Shomati Magon Rabdoiv Beresh Rapaport. Derech HaMelech Al Rambam. Probably nobody knows this Sefer. Sheshoma Mi Agon Rabdoiv Beresh Ashkenazi. Shalas Shuvas Noida Beshorim. Probably nobody knows this Sefer. These were Gedoyle Galicia. So the Chavah said as a Shoran, quoting the Derech HaMelech, quoting the Noida B'Shorim, Rabdo Berech Ashkenazi, that when a Rav has a Shaila, first he needs to have a feeling what the Psak should be, and then open the Shechanoch and the Rishonim and the Poiskim and see what his Muskona will be. I never understood this. Lani is Daiti, it's a terrible mistake. A Rav should have no pre of what the Psak should be. Now, we're human. And it's only natural that usually you do have a certain feeling, but you need to do your best to totally ignore that feeling and not try to prove what you think and what your feeling is. The Tafka of Amayra Eroa is, sometimes we have no inkling of what the Maskona would be. But many times, it is only natural. You have a feeling what the Psak should be. And your tafket is to try to ignore that feeling and overcome it. And be open to any maskona. And learn the sogia and look into the poiskim. And that's a big chiddush to me. And the Minchas Yitzchak Chelik Tesem in Kufnun quotes the Chavaser HaSashoran, and that is even a bigger pillar to me because the Minchas Yitzchak, one of, one of the Choshev Sapoiskim of our generation. And I don't understand how you, if you're going to have a, a predetermined Netiyah 
And then you learn the sugi. It's only natural that, the, the, that you're going to try to prove what you think. And that is, loy darka shal Torah. Even if you do have a feeling, you need to try to totally ignore that feeling. In mevarar halacha, ramita shal Torah, whatever the meskona will be, it should be. One of the major issues is about chumris and kulis. And in the sheet of questions I received from Chavrei HaKoyrol is about the concepts of chumris and kulis. So the Yerushalmi that appears at least twice in Shas, maybe more, Trum is Daflam Adomet Beis. In Mesechet Soito, the Yerushalmi is once again Daflam Adomet Beis. Kishem sha'oso letayar es atomo, kach osa letame es atohoyo. So the Yerushalmi says, lo lakan velo lakan. Everybody understands that it's terrible letayar es atome. Person paskins lakula, and so we need to strive And Rashi, when Rashi explains Rashi touches a very sensitive nerve. And Rashi writes, to be machmir is not a chachmir. And many times people are machmir because they don't have time to be mevar alocha and they have sveikis. And what should a yerei shamayim do? If he's a yerei chet, then he's machmir. But the Yushalmi writes, Kishem she'os elatay resato mekach os elatame esato hoyom. And you have no right to be machmir. And when Chazal say koiche de tera odif, it's not the same concept of gzeira she'ein rov etzi be'yochon la'amid boi. No. So many times I've asked a certain psak that I give, is it for B'nai Torah as well? There's no one Shulchan Aruch for B'nai Torah and another Shulchan Aruch for Pshut Ayam. There is a concept of Baal Nefesh, and sometimes Shulchan Aruch says Baal Nefesh Yachmir, but that is very rare. Psokim are psokim, and we need to try to paskan la'amita shel Torah. And there are some expressions we misinterpret very well known, the Chesam Soifer writes, Chodesh Osem en That appears, I think, seven or eight times in the Ksovim of the Chesam Soifer. And I think at least in half of the sources, Chodesh Osem en when he's dealing with the Chumra, the most famous Shuv Chesam Soifer about the Shir Esrig, where the Chesam Soifer writes, Chodesh Osem en he writes, this Chumra is a Chumra Chodesh Osem en and Chodesh Osem and Atoyer, not always in the Ksovim of the Chesam Soifer, is a Kula. So Koyche de Teira Odif is not a Bidyeved, and it's not the same as Ein Rovet Sibi Yechoy Lanamid Boy. It is the Tafkad of Moira Hiroa, when Ra'oi Lehokel Tzorech Lehokel, and Keshem She'oser Letair Esato, Makach Oser Letamei Esato. When a person is Machmi Atzmoi, that is definitely more acceptable. But we do find a few times in the Poiskim that a Chumra, which is on the expense of an Indian Shal Mitzvah, is a Chumra one should try to avoid. Tof Reish Lamet Tes Siv Zayin. We learn the Halach of Eridus Geshomim. B'Shas Eridus Geshomim, a person should leave the Sukkah. Potom and Adove V'Oiseyu Nikrohediot is a Yerushalmi. This, this mamma is nowhere found in Bavli, only in Yerushalmi. And it is not in the context of Sukkah. The Yerushalmi deals with Kriya Shema, be Yeshiva, or be Shiva. But the Ramo quotes this mamma in Tofre Shlamites regarding a Yosha be Sukkah be Shas, Eridas Geshomim. Einoi Mekabel Sechar, Potom and Adove Veseo Nikrohediot. And the Bialocha speaks, so when is a Chumra Midas Chasidis and when is it a Hediot? When is it positive? When is it negative? What, the entire concept of a Midas Chasidis is Kaddish Atzmo B'mutolocho. Every Midas Chasidis is Potom and Adove Veseo. So the Bialocha explains, a Yoshev B'sukkah B'rashi, the Shas Yishomim diminishes Simchas Yomtev. And Simchas Yomtev is a mitzvah. So sometimes a person feels he's going to have a chumrah, but if it is at the expense of 
simcha shal mitzvah, simcha siyam tev, then it's not a proper chumra. So simcha siyam tev is something which is gashmias, and therefore many people would feel a proper chumra even if it does diminish simcha siyam tev. And the Bialoch explains that is the Ramah's argument sitting in the sukkah b'shah, seridus g'shomim, diminishes simchas yom tov for you, for your family, and therefore it's not a proper chumrah. So I don't want, you know, in this short shi, I can't go into details. So the word tzaddikim that sat in the sukkah b'shah, seridus g'shomim, many, many decades ago, I was a younger man, probably was almost 50 years ago, I remember, spending his sukkahs in Uni City with Moiri Verabi, with the Kloysen Bagarabi, and it was raining the entire entire seven days of sukkah. It was really raining and pouring, and the Kloysen Megarebbe didn't leave his sukkah. And uh, the Hasidim were sitting there, covering their heads with plastic bags, and it was raining. And I saw a moifes golui, one small plate of soup that ever gave shalayim to a hundred people. melamalo. <laughs> So, yes, so the word Sadiqim, but that's not for Amcha. Moshe Le'ez Evet Shemoza Kois Le'Rabbi V'Shofech Lo'Kit Nalponov, you go out of your sukkah, al titztak harba, when you're going to be like the Kloiz of and you're going to dive in two hours every shachas and an hour every mincha, and you're going to cry by every shumenes, you could sit in the sukkah b'shas, yeridas gishomim. There's another example in Simon Reish Ayin Tes Siv Beis in Hilchas Shabbos regarding the halachas of Graf Sorei, and the Ramah writes, "Hamach mi Eloi Hivsed," and the Bach is angry at the Ramah. What do you mean, "Hamach mi Eloi Hivsed"? Better "Hamach mi Hivsed" because he's sitting in a Mokamos. It's not quite Shabbos. It's not Roynik Shabbos. So how could you write "Hamach mi Eloi Hivsed"? And the Bach says it's a Tosat Fus in the Ramah. And you need to read Hamek Eloi Hifzid. So this is the same idea as Tofrei Shlametes. A Chumrah that will diminish Oynik Shabbos and Kvoit Shabbos is not a Chumrah. Just like a Chumrah that will diminish Simchas Yom Tev is not a Chumrah. So the Ramor writes a Machma Eloi Hifzid and the Bach says no, it's a Eloi Hifzid and the Mishnah Brewer sides with the Bach. Hamek Eloi Hifzid. Because on one hand, you want to be machmen hilches muktzeh in the din of Graf Sharei, but you are diminishing Kvayt Shabbos and Oynik Shabbos, and that is why it's not a proper chumr. So, Reb Shloim Kluger, those that know the, the psokim of Reb Shloim Kluger, he was generally a machmir, and he was a Ishmael Choma, and there were a lot of sorrows and controversies in his age in which Reb Shloim Kluger was involved, generally le chumr, and in Sefer O'Elef Lach O'Shloim Akuf Yud Beis, he writes something very surprising. And he writes, Ein ani noyeg ba'atz mi shum chumr shabo'ilam v'halavai she'eye komo echad mepshut ha'ya'am. That's what Rav Shloim Akruger writes. I hate chumris, I'm not noyeg shum chumr. Halavai he should be ke'echad mepshut ha'ya'am, dalas o'am bi Yisroel. But generally in Psaq he was a machmir. So once again, chumris and kolos are very relative. But what is very important is, many times I explain to people, Shigra Sachayim Shal Odom Yisrael needs to be a Shigra of Yerushalayim and Lechat Your routine can't be based on Bidiyevids. Bidiyevid is for coincidence. But Shigra Sachayim, the routine of Yerushalayim needs to be a routine of and not of Bidi Eved. And we're coming back to Hilcha Shabbos. In Mereish Nun Zayin Sifalaf, I don't remember whether it's a Mechaber or a Mo, but there's a Halacha in the Dinam of Shia Vatmona, and I think it's the Ramo writes, Shabidi Eved Yesh Lokal, Ubelvad Shalo Yargal Atzmoi Bekach. Ubelvad Shalo Yargal Atzmoi Bekach. The entire concept of a Bidi Eved needs to be coincident. If it happens, b'diyevet yesh lohokal, aval shelo yargal asma bekach. And we find this again in Hilchus Kriya Shema, Semenunches, Siv Dalet, regarding Kriya Shema, la'achar aloysa shachar, which b'diyevet 
One could be Mekel and the Mishnah Brura writes, but you can do it Bo'ifen Kavua. And one of the dilemmas I am asked constantly, I don't know why, I don't know, I think the Matzav in America is better than in Yisrael, but in Yisrael by Shachris, maybe it's because of Reichem are so busy with the Kindalach at home, people come, I see in my shul, Litzari, people come relatively late. They come into Davening when the Shliach Sim is in really the middle of Sukkot de Zimra. So, uh, this morning, I, 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 wherever I come, I have a minig, if it's okay with the tzibur, to say Berches HaShachar out loud. I say Berches HaShachar. I started this minig when my late father passed away. I don't know whether anybody here besides my friends knew my father. You, ah, yeah, yeah, for you shall I, I'm My father was a gewaldige ilui. And he was an interesting combination. He was a Ilui, a Gavaldi Talmud Chochem. And we were Moshe's neighbors on the east side when I was born. I was a little boy, I was six years old when we left the east side. I knew Rav Moshe very well, but not from then. I don't remember Rav Moshe. You might be surprised, but when I was six years old, I wasn't Boki Mishnayis Balpeh, and I knew nothing about the Igris Moshe. Nothing just like any other six-year-old kid. And Moshe tried to convince my father to go into Rabonus. And he told him there's a shtetl called Liberty in the mountains, and they're looking for a Rav. My father's name was also Moshe, And Moshe told him, winter falta grosse schnei. It's a heavy snow winter. You can't leave the house. Ein winter in the Yitzana, God will be a soil, he told my father. <laughs> didn't occur to the Moshe, if you can't leave your house, what are you going to do all day besides learning Gemara? So the Moshe told my father, Ein winter, it's not a good will be a soil. And my father, I don't know why, I was six years old at the time, he didn't discuss it with me, but the Moshe did not convince him, and he wasn't, uh, he wasn't also kind of bonus, he was a businessman, and he was in construction, and he built many ho- houses in Israel, and he saw it as a tremendous kus- to build Yerushalayim. So, uh, why did I start talking about? Uh, yeah, So my father was a pikach shebe and a very successful businessman, and he was a tomim, which is an interesting combination. And he had his frum kaiten, and every day in the morning there was a long line of children and Minchas Yitzchok standing in line to say Bech Sashachah for my father, and my father answered, Amen. Sometimes there were 20, 30, 40 kids, and when we sat Shiva on my father, a person about 30 years old says, as a child he was in that line, and my father used to give a shekel for every boy, otherwise why would they stand in line? <laughs> and every day in the morning he came with pockets full of shkolim, and the ones that are last in line sometimes get two or three shkolim because my father emptied out his buckets. So this person said, I always skipped the line and went to the end because the last kids got the few shkolim. So in my shul, like most shuls in Yerushalayim, they don't say brochas. They start hoidu, start borchu. Since my father passed away, I took upon myself lilu inishmosoi to say berchse shachar the coil every day. So this morning here in Mansi I said Shacha. Usually people have no objection. So uh, <coughs> why did I start talking about Berchus Shacha? Oh. So people came like the Davenin and people ask me all the time, what is the proper thing to do to be medaleg? Keikaradin, the Chacham Tzvi is very much against being medaleg Psuka de Zimra. And it's interesting, the Chamsi wasn't a Chosset, but he writes, it's a Hippoch Tzenoires, and the Zohar Kodesh explains, there's a Seder in Tfilo, which is based on Atzilus, Bria, Yitzira, Asiya. One should not be Medalig. And I always say, Dilug is for coincidence. If it happens, you come late, you should be Noye, Ke'ikar Dene Shechonoch, not Bichosh to the Chamsi. But this can't be a Seder, you can't do this every day, that's wrong. So Shigra Sachaim needs to be a Shigra Sachaim of Lachatchila. Yeresha Mayim can't live his life in a Bidiyevidik fashion. And this is something very important. And I quoted two sources in the Shulchan Orchan. There are many, many more. Uh, so in Simeresh Membeis, there is 
Klole Hapsak, and it's the only source in Shechan which is concentrated, Klole Eroa, from the Shach and from other Poiskim. And one of the Yisaitis is, B'Sha Satchak, we rely on Adas Yochid, and it's a Mechleikas Shach and Taz, whether this is even by a Deoraisa or only by a Derabonon, B'Sha Satchak, Samchin, and Adas Yochid. And one of the points of dispute was the big Shail of Chodosh. So, <coughs> for many generations, we were Mekel in Chodosh, based on the Bach. And there's a big contest of the Shagasai about Chodesh and the Pnei Yeshua. And Achshar Dora, today more and more people are Machmir in the Cheshash of Chodesh. And if it's a Diorais, it's, a, it's one, of the, one of the sugis in which the Shach and the Taz have a Machloika, Samchin and Al Das Yochid, Bishas Atchak, whether it's even Diorais. But when I teach in my Koilalim, I say the biggest Klal and Klola Heroa is that there are no definitive Klola Heroa. And Klola Heroa are general concepts, but first of all, you need to know how to define Shas Tchak. And you need to know how to define a Das Yochid. Beis Shamai, Keneged Beis Selel, is not a Das Yochid you could rely on Bishas Tchak. And a shitter that is totally nitchal, they call Rabbi Seinu or Rishoyin of Apoiskim, is not defined as a Das Yochid. So it's very difficult to implement these Yesodas Halocha Lamaisa, but they do have significance. And once again, Sfadisha Poiskim relied more on Klole Hapsak than Ashkenazi Poiskim, and anybody Boki in the Chuvis realizes this. And the Sephardim had more Natiya of Devorim, Kipshutom, and if Shah Satchak realigned as Yochid, this is something that could be relied upon. Mm -hmm. And the Ashkenazim always strived to reach Maskona Saloch Alamaisa and not to rely on the Klole Apsike. But Klole Roa should be handled with care. We need to know how to define what is a Das Yochid. Not every, you know. After a thousand years of Shalas Achuvas, you could find a Das Yochid on everything. Almost everything you could find somebody that, that, that says a kol, and that is not defined as a Das Yochid. Das Yochid means to be one of the great Rishonim or Poiskim, even though most Poiskim reject. So you need to be a major Talmud Chochim to implement these Klola Heroa when we could rely on a Das Yochid Bishas Adchak. So these are just a few ha'ores, and now we could uh, go over the shailas I received, and also uh, if uh, one of the rabbonim wants to present other shailas. So I'm going to read some of the shailas and, and shortly respond to them. But we know, and you're not boki bekola toira kula. When could we rely on our maskonis based on limud asugi? I think only a major talmud chacham shalomet toira harba vemile kreisa could rely on his own maskonis. You learn the sugya, but we cannot ignore the gedolei poiskim and also not the psokim of gedolei hazman. You need to be a major talmud chacham shegiyah lohayroa to form your own opinion based on <coughs> learning the sugya and learning divrei gedoy l'achroinim v'gedoy l'azman. There were yechidim like Rav Moshe Feinstein in our time that almost never quotes achroinim. It is surprising, but Rav Moshe was a giant. For instance, Famous tshuva of Ramosha regarding Yisrochus of Ulan. So we're not dealing with, uh, with Isurim, but it's, but it's a chosh of a sugya. And Ramosha writes, I think, 20 pages. And he does not quote the two most important sources on this sugya. Tshuva Semera Malshka that quotes a lengthy tshuva of Rav Hai Goen, Semer Kuf Aleph Emera Malshka. The Beis Yosef in tshuva is Avkas Roichel. And Moshe quotes neither the Bis Yosef nor the Maramalshka, which is a huge deficiency. How could you ignore Rav Haigon, quoted the Maramalshka, and the Bis Yosef and Afkas Rechel when you're Maramalshka? But this is Rav Moshe. 
But most other poiskim of our time went through the achroinim and the poiske has a man. So Rabbi Yankov Emden has a tshuva. Sheila Siavas Chelik Beisim Achof. Shocking. Kibalti Moovi Mori, She Kibal Mapia Chelkis Machoikeik, an Evan Ezer, She Ain Raui Loila Odom, Livsa Kalocha, Eloam Ken Yochel, Lakor Velim Choik Seif Menashul Honor. You cannot be a Moira Heroa unless you have the Koyach, Lakor Velim Choik Seif Menashul Honor. And then a Bianca Vemden writes by Novi Yaseda, Vaani. <laughs> I didn't do it, Elo Kame Poomim, writes Rabbi Yanka Vemden. But this, this is a das yochot shein lismacholav afililo bishas atchak. And most of Gedoy Lachroinim, in the same generation as the Bish Yosef, or one generation later, wrote, so what I mean to say, there were Yechidim that, uh, that were Choylek and Roshoynim and they went all the way back to Gemaras. People mistakenly think that was the Derech of the Gro. It wasn't. The Goan never paskins against all the Roshoynim. The Goan goes into the Sugi and he is Machriya Bein HaRoshoynim. That demands tremendous godless. But the Goan would never suggest a Mahalach that has no source in the Rishonim and be doiche the Rishonim. But some did. Some did. So the derech is, we learn Achroinim. We cannot ignore Divri Gedoyle as man. And only a major Talmud Chochem could pass can based on his own understanding of the Sugya. Le'inyan machloikes ben amishnabur of Oroch HaShulchan. This always annoys me. What type of a comparison is this? Both were Gedoyle Lita, but there were many Gedoyle in that generation. Why do people always compare the Mishnah Brura and the Orch Shulchan? So let me give a short analysis. The Orch Shulchan was considered one of the great poiskim of the generation, and the Mishnah Brura was not. Nobody should think I am minimizing the covet of the Chovetz Chaim. Godel Meraban Shemoi. Godel should be gedolim, kodosh should be kedoshim. But this Mishnah Brura was known in the entire world for sidkus. But there is not one psak of the Mishnah Brura quoted by anyone in Yeridea, Evan Ezer, or Chosha Mishpot. Nowhere do we find a psak of the Mishnah Brura quoted in other areas of Torah. Nowhere do we find a tshuva that the Mishnah Brura ever wrote la halacha. The Mishnah Bruru was a Mitzdanea in his little town, and he wrote Gewaldiges for him. The Ocho Shulchan or Meisos was considered one of the great poiskim of his generation. He wrote Shuvis, his sefers, and Dalat Chalke Shechanoch. Not only Dalat Chalke Shechanoch, he went back all the way to the Rambam. And there's Ocho Shulchan Osid, which I don't know whether you all are familiar with, and Zoroim Kotshem Taharis. He went through kola, toira, kola. Nobody did that since the Rambam to the Yorcha Shulchan, writing a sefer al halacha and kola, toira, kulo. So there were two different types of personalities. The Mishnah Brur is a sefer that is much more reliable than Yorcha Shulchan. And why is that? He had a different approach. The Mishnah Brur on every sif learned the achroinim. The Yorcha Shulchan when he wrote his Sefer, all he had on his table was the Rambam and the Shulchan Aruch. Nothing more. Rambam, Shulchan Aruch, Venoy Sekeirov. So the Yorcha Shulchan, I like it a lot. It's a Gewaldige Sefer, and it's a combination of Psak and Svora. He is unique sometimes in his Svoras. But if we compare the Psokim, I think the Mishnah Brura is far more comprehensive. The Mishnah Brura went through all the Achroinim. I'll tell you a secret about the Mishnah Bru, which I don't think anybody realized. I don't think the Mishnah Bru had many Svorim. I think he either bought or borrowed the Sifri Yisod on Orachayim. He didn't have any Chuvis for him. And whenever he quotes Chuvis, 
he relies on either the Pischei Yolim or the Pischei Tshuva. And these are two Sifrei Likut of Gedoi Lalita. And they're both terribly unreliable. And the Mishnah Brura relied on them because he didn't have Tshuvas. And many times when the Mishnah Brura quotes, Binyan Tzian, Lamoshan Hilchas Tisha Bav Tovkuf Nun Dalad, there's a mistake in that quote. And the mistake doesn't come from the Mishnah Brura, it comes from the Pischei Olam. And at the end of the Keta, of the paragraph, he writes Pei'ayin, which is Pischei Olam. He quotes the Shoyal HaMeshev, and whenever he quotes Shuvas, he relied on one of these two Sforim. And these Sforim are unreliable, both in the Malam HaKoymis and in the content. In Hilchus Chanaki, he quotes a Sefer called Oyla Shmuel, which is also a mistaken quote, and it's not the Mishnah Brura's blame. It's either the Pischei Tshuva or the Pischei Yoyla. But generally speaking, the Mishnah Brura went through Del Yor Rabba, Moiruk Tzio, Yeshua Siankev, needless to say, the Garshaz, and therefore his Psukham Asolis Nakiya, the Yoch Shulchanat. The Yoch Shulchan, all he had when he wrote was the Rambam and the Shulchan Orach. Both were great Gedolim. So that is why we rely more on the Mishnah Ruhr than the Yoch Shulchan. I think it's right. It's the right Maskana. Not comparing the Godless. Both were Gedolim. The Yoch HaShulchan was more considered as a poisik in his time than the Mishnah Brura. And the Mishnah Brura wasn't oisik in, in Shailas Hazman, in Ebenezer, Choshe Mishpat, or Yoradeya. But the Mishnah Brura is an amazing sefer. And I'm, I'm angry every time I hear that the Mishnah Brura was in Skabal because he was such a great tzaddik. Doubtless that he was a tzaddik ador, but a sefer was in Skabal b'schus it's a gewaldig sefer. It's not a tzitkis. It's soilus nakia. It's yashus. The Mishnah Bru is a yashun bekol mokoim. Lo omazois doch shulchan zachatchen. We rely more on a yashun than on a chatchen. And the Mishnah Bru is based on an analysis of poiskim ladere seim. He learned all the achroinam and every halacha which the Orch shulchan did not. So. We don't compare who was greater. Each of them was great in his own way, but the Sefer Mishnah Brur is, is far more chosh of l'halocha than the Yor HaShulchan is. Uh, I think we need to be leaving by 12. So uh, I could go on reading more questions, but if, uh, if you want to present some questions that you think are more important than... Uh, Uh, so, why didn't they mention the Minchas Osha here? <laughs> For a good reason. <laughs> For a good reason and they're right. Uh, it is very hard to say because Reb Moshe was a Naksha Benokim, Reb Shemazan was a Naksha Benokim. I don't think there's any klal. Based on what I said before, one of the fundamental differences Reb Shemazan learned all the achroinim, even he paid attention to Gedoy Lazman and Rabbi Moshe with his tremendous godless was an original. And he goes all the way back to the Gemara, to the Rishonim. Rarely does he quote the Chsam Soifer or the greatest poiskim of Gedoy Lachroinim and rarely does he quote them. So if you're blind and you know nothing about the Sugya, I think it would be safer to rely on Rabbi Shema than on the Igris Moshe. But I can't compare the godless because both were amazing and I had the schus to know them both and each was a giant in his own way. I don't think there are klolim. But I do think it is legitimate for a person to connect to a certain godl. V'linoi galpiv. Both the Bavli and the Yerushalmi say, Kekula be'shameh ve'kekula be'zilol rosha. 
כחומר בשמר ובחומר בסלול, כסל בחוי שחוי לך. That's a mamre both and babni yushalmi. Either take upon a girdle with chumr and kuras, and however, in our day and age, there are moiraharos that specify in specific fields, and it's legitimate to know that this poisik is a mumchen elchas nida, and this one in elchas shabbos, and that is okay. <coughs> or, if you feel a kesher nafshi to a girdle, either you know him. Or even if you don't know him, you could be noyeg al piv. What is not acceptable is looking for kulis everywhere. And Chazal say that, that is a rasha. You can't look for kulis. And you're not supposed to look necessarily for all the chumris. But if you're not a major Talmud Chochem that could be mavarar al himself, then either you take upon yourself a godl, either one of the present-day Gedolim that you know and you rely on, you see him as your Rebbe, or even one of the Gedolim Noichei Nefesh. But then you take upon his Chumres and Kolos. But it's impossible for me to say who is greater than another. They were all Gedoli Yisroel v'chalil Ali to, to, to choose between them. I think that is relevant Legabe Minhogim, not necessarily Gabe Psokim. The whole world is connected today. I don't think there's a concept of Asri Damar. Even in Bnei Barak, I don't think the Chazanish is Asri Damar. My Talmidim know I'm a great admirer of the Chazanish. And many times I say, to me the Chazanish is like the Rishonim. And he was thrown 500 years away from his natural habitat, that our door should see how Arishan learned. I think the Chazanish is above and beyond. You learn the Chazanish, it's such a Fagenigen and such a Chlorkite and such an Amkes. And, but I don't think it's Asre Demar and Bnei Barak. I don't think there's such a thing today as Asre Demar. It's just coincidence that one lives here, one lives there. But I think there are Menhogim of Chutzlaretz, a Menhogim of Eretz Yisrael. But regarding Psak, I don't think there's, to me, there is no such a thing as Asre Demar. I think so. I definitely think so. I Which definitely one? think so. In the Gemara we find Chazima Amedabar, and the Yushalm we find the con- same concept with a different lotion. Ketzer Dabrias Noyagim, and uh, go 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 with the meaning of basis or with what most Gedolim say and what what most good Jews do. You could rely on that. I know when people used to come to ask Rav Shemazalman about Sneas, about Shaitlach, he used to say, what, what good women do, that's Tzanua. Look at your mother, look at your sisters. What a Noshim Kshedas be Yisrael do. He never wanted to go into details. Uh, do, do what good people do, do what good Jews do, do what Minigah Wailah man, you're on the safe side. So it was a pleasure to spend some time with this Chosh of a Koilal. As I said, I'm surprised how big this Koilal is, Baruch Hashem. And uh, it was a Fagenig and it was a Simcha to share with you Divrei Teir and Divrei Hadrocha. And my Brocha to all of you is that all the Avreichim sitting in this Bismed should be Zoycha Lahoyre Seiro Bi Yisroel, Ahar Bitz Teire Bi Yisroel. Vishenizke Kulano Lahagel Teire Uladira Ad Biyaz Goyal Sedeg Bemheiro Vyomeinu